All right, so um, I'm gonna just start this off from the beginning and stuff. Like, when did you first start out rapping? I started rapping like the word of a lie when I was like five. Oh, I was like wow. trying to rate my own tracks and shit, you know. Okay, okay. Like my like my my uncle and my pops had like a home studio. Like it wasn't nothing professional, but like it was something to fuck around with. You know what I mean? Mm. I started rapping from there, but like I took it like serious with Huey like when we were like sixteen, so like twenty sixteen, you know. Okay, okay, Around okay. those times. Facts. So, uh, where'd you grow up? Like, the same place as Huey, or? Yeah, but, but like, before I even, like, started clicking up with Huey and those guys, like, I was bouncing around the city and shit, you know? Right, like, right. every, like, year or two I was moving and shit, but, like, around, like, high school, I started growing up with these guys, you know? Okay, okay. Alright, so, um, do you feel, since you're saying you're bouncing around a little bit, um, do you feel like that affected your music because you're getting different, maybe like different sounds from like every place you were moving around to or? Yeah, for okay, sure. Okay. Like, you know, like when you're bouncing a lot too, like you see a whole bunch of shit like you wouldn't just see in like one particular area, you know? Mm -hmm. So you get like a taste of like parts of the city where everybody's on and shit, you know? Okay, okay. Wow. All right, so um, what was your favorite artist uh, growing up? Favorite rapper growing up? Fucking, I'd have to say Lloyd Banks. Lloyd, Lloyd Banks, Banks, okay. Yeah. I haven't heard that one for a minute. Yeah, he's but. cold. Like, if you take in his bars, like, because, like, he's, he's, like, he's hidden behind, like, 50 and, like, yeah, yeah. and those guys, you know? But okay, he's cold. Okay. He's probably the coldest one, so. Okay, so if you could collab with uh, three artists, any artist, it can be, it doesn't need to be a rapper, it could be, like, an R&B singer or anything, who would you collab with? Would I collab with? Uh, definitely Lloyd Banks. Lloyd Banks, Lloyd for, Banks sure. for sure. <laughs> you okay. know, uh, Go with little baby too, yeah. and even or even Gucci too. Gucci, okay, Gucci. okay, okay, okay. So, um, all right. So, similar to the question that I asked uh, Huey, like, do you feel like the look and stuff is really important as you're rapping, or do you feel like the music will just speak for itself? Like, how important do you think the look is? Uh, to be honest, like when you're rapping or even just making music in general, you have to kind of like match what you're saying, you know. Mm -hmm. So like, even if like, you can't really just, like, rap one thing and then, like, be doing the other, you know? Like, it, you have to match what you're saying, so. Facts, facts. Goes both hands, you know? Facts, facts, facts. All right, so, um, hold on one second. All right, so, um, if you could choose between signing to a major label or si or just staying independent, what would you choose? Uh, personally, I, I'd stay independent, though, until, like, a label offers me something that, like, I can't make myself, you know? Right. I want to sign for something that I can make myself. Five, it's five. just like because sometimes they throw out crazy numbers and then it's like you never know later on they might ask for the money back or like exactly, they try and finesse know, and like, shit you have to read the fine print still like 100 don't, don't, don't play with your with, with your life like that yeah yeah you don't yeah. want to get trapped there's actually a lot of artists like fetty wap and stuff they get trapped that's yeah. why he, he fell off and he didn't even blow up anywhere you know <laughs> Yo, I haven't heard of that that's what know? i'm saying because <laughs> i haven't heard that guy in like five six years him rich homie kwan there's bare guys they it's signed crazy. early and then the the labels yeah. just messed them up so yeah you got to read between yeah. the lines and shit it's all what all right. you do with the money too i hope they freaking they flip that money yeah hopefully but who knows stuff yeah, so um all right so if you could choose between like any of your bars that you wrote like which one would be the realest bar that you ever wrote or it could be a song that you feel like that's the realest song that you wrote to be honest i feel like all my bars are the realest bars though. okay like, that's a good answer i put like, I like meaning that. behind every bar you know so right. like don't let it go over your head if you okay. like really take in what i'm saying you'll understand okay, so okay. but like my hardest i'd say so like my hardest track my realest track would probably be rough rider Okay, okay. What about that track? Would you, why would you choose that one specifically? Like, I kind of give you like an inside look into like what we're on or like what I'm on, you know? So like that's why I transitioned from like, and if you watch the video, like the trans like what I am now, so like I'm living like a better So like what you want to be in, so. Yeah, to oh, like okay. what I was doing and like where oh. I see myself going and stuff like that, you know? Facts, facts, facts. So there's a, there's a deeper meaning behind it yeah, and shit, basically. Sure. Yeah, take it and stuff. Okay, okay, okay. So, um... Do you feel like the bigger artists like Drake, The Weeknd, Tory Lanez and stuff, do you feel like they need to collab more with the newer artists coming out? Or do you feel like they're already kind of doing their job already? I mean, they do show some love to the city for sure, you know? But there could always be more love shown because like, rapping is like, it's a hard thing to jump into, you know? There's a lot of rappers and mm -hmm. a lot of people sound the same. People are just rapping to rap nowadays because like, people get views and shit, you know? Fact, so I don't really fact. blame them for not 
just picking and choosing and like, fucking just anybody, you know? Mm-hmm. But they're doing their thing still. They do like hear out the realists and shit, so. Facts, know, facts, they're doing, facts. They're doing their thing for sure. Okay, okay. So, um, uh, for your track, Out of Town Part 2. Like, I was listening to it, and I took in that I kind of had, like, a UK drill type of beat, you know? Mm -hmm. How did that come about? Did you just come across the beat randomly, and you just started spitting on it? Or was it deliberate, like, you chose that beat specifically? Uh, To be honest, uh, I chose that beat still. Like, me and uh, Chris Bandit, we've we've been hopping on, like, UK beats and stuff. He has a... He's more like a UK drill rapper, you know? So, like... He wears a mask and everything, too, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, like, I kind of, like... Started, like feeling those type of beats more, you know? Mm-hmm. So then like, when I heard that beat, I was like, yo, like this is cold. And those kind of had like, the same sound of Out of Town 1. Yeah. You know? So like, they went together. So I was like, yo, this, is, this beat's cold. Okay, you know? okay. Facts, facts. So do you got any like mixtapes or any albums coming out anytime soon? Uh, coming out? I don't know. I'm definitely working on some still, but I, I have two tapes out right now. I have Trending Topic that I dropped uh, last year. Okay. And I have Back and Better. Which I dropped earlier this year, so Facts, the meters on that for sure. You gotta check it out. Alright. So do you got any shout outs you wanna make, any of your homies that are rapping or like any shout outs in general? Yeah, for sure. First I gotta say free trap giddy, free John Wick, free web, you know, free yeah. the set. Uh shout out to FG, shout out my nigga Huey, Chris Bandit, you know, uh my nigga Paco too. He's okay. coming up, he's on the come up, you know. Facts. Shout out. Alright. Alright, so that was Trendy, uh, A Night in the Six, and we're out.